Hi ladies, I have an exciting challenge today. I was tagged in a video by Jennifer of The Daily Connoisseur, who is one of my favorite YouTube channels, as well as blogs, and she is an author. And her books are fabulous, and I've talked about them. Uh, they're shortened to Madame Chic. She's got two. One is the general Madame Chic, and the other is Madame Chic at Home, and she's got a third one in the works, which I am so excited about. I will, of course, be discussing that when it comes out. And she tagged me on a video to do a five-minute makeup challenge. Now, Jennifer, what you didn't know is it normally only takes me about five minutes to do my makeup. So I was very excited to actually, uh, you know, time it and see if I could get through what I say only takes five minutes in an actual five minutes. So I did it. I'm going to show it to you now. I hope you enjoy it. And stay to the end. I will have links to different makeup tutorials, hair tutorials, and of course my blog. Okay, so I am going to start the clock right now. I hope this thing beeps. All right, so like most people, I start with a foundation. Now, I've spoken about my trials and tribulations with melasma. Now, for those of you who don't know, melasma is a skin condition brought on by hormones. Um, it usually happens in women, and it usually happens when they get pregnant and then after pregnancy, though some women get affected when they go on the birth control pill, because obviously the birth control pill is hormonally based. I have spent a ridiculous amount of money trying to get rid of it, um, and at this point nothing has worked, and so I cover it up. So that's the first round. Then I do it again with a little bit. Um, I forgot to mention this is Dior, Dior Skin is what it's called. I know it's expensive, but for me it works really well. It has really good coverage, um, and it lasts forever. It's, it's very highly pigmented. So then I just take and I, I always use my hands. I really want to try one of those egg spongy things. They're like pink eggs that are very hot right now with makeup. But I basically just do this triangle right here because I have deep set eyes and heavy hereditary bags. Now what I normally do is let my foundation set while I blow dry my hair. But for this, I'm just going to go straight to my powder. Now, I have this weird belief that whatever foundation you use, you should also use the same brand for powder. It's ridiculous. I made it up, but that's what I've used the whole time. So this is Dior facial powder as well. Obviously, there's plenty of less expensive makeups that will give you the same effect. Okay. Moving on to blush. I do my cheeks, kind of the cheekbones and down a little bit. There you go. That is also Dior, though for years I used NARS Orgasm, I think is what it's called. Now, for my simple everyday makeup, I put on, this is Kitten by Stilla. And I love this color. It's this shiny kind of pink color. Um, as I mentioned before, I have deep set eyes, so I like to get some brightness in there uh, just to highlight my eyes a little bit more. It makes me feel, I don't know, like I don't have these sunken buggy eyes. That's it. Then I go to my eyeliner, and I have a cat eye tutorial, which I will be linking on how to do a cat eye. You can see, it's hard to talk and do it at the same time. I do this almost every single day. So I'm a bit of a pro. Good. As I say in the video, your eyes are sisters, not twins. So they're going to look different from one another. Now I do my, I don't know if you can hear me. I use my blow dryer to warm up. 
my eyelash curler, which I will be showing you in a new video coming out in the next few weeks. That's going to be one of my Isn't It Clever videos. And I'd curl my lashes and then add my mascara. I usually only put mascara on the top. And then when I go fancy, I do the bottom. That's just one of the ways. Okay, let's see how much time I have left. I have less than a minute. So then, the last but not least, I try and get my brows done. I also have a brow tutorial, uh, which I will also link. I have a bunch of makeup tutorials uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, and you might want to check those out. So that was um, just a liner. I try and fill in the bottom of my brows because I just have an empty kind of bald spot where I want to have it be filled in. I'm afraid I'm not going to finish. Okay, and then last but not least, and I hope I have enough time, my lipstick. I usually wear red. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh. I think I did it! Five minutes! So, I mean... Hold on, let me stop this. Wow! And I even spoke through it. I am shocked. I didn't know if I could get it done. Yay! Now, remember, I've been doing this for a really long time, and I basically do the same thing every single day. Yay! I did it! I got it done in the five minutes, though I could have used an extra, oh, I don't know, 30 seconds, I'd say, to really make it look perfect. I thank you, Jennifer, so much for tagging me in this challenge. And if you are new and coming from The Daily Connoisseur, I would be thrilled if you joined me here on The Glamorous Housewife on my channel. And you can also check out my blog, which both my YouTube channel and my blog have lots of tips and tricks for the glamorous homemaker, the glamorous housewives, and for those of you who work uh, both in and outside of your home to make your lives a little bit easier. Now, I have to tag, I guess, two people. So I am going to be tagging the ladies at Girls With Glasses, who are another one of my favorite YouTube channels. Normally, I would have tagged Jennifer, but she tagged me first. And then Allison from The Allison Show. She is delightful. I love her. I watch all of her videos. And if you've never heard of her or The Girls With Glasses, you must check them out. And of course, they'll be linked below. So thanks, ladies. I hope you enjoyed this challenge as much as I did. And I will see you all later. Bye.